All right, guys. Yeah, this is um, a new little um, thing that um, I am doing right now, which is pretty much where we um, look at the um, tactical um, intricacies of each team. Again, looking ahead to Chelsea Tottenham. So this is now Tottenham. It's turn right now where we look and we see Tottenham set up their form formation and we go nice and deep. So these are strictly for football heads right now. So again, this I'm just going by obviously who scored and on different sites. Um, we're looking at a back three here of Dyer, Alderweireld, and Vertonghen. Dyer obviously his strongest point is obviously in midfield, but obviously based off injuries, people missing, this is what is proposed to be the lineup. Again, this is only proposed based on what I've seen. Tottenham fans, if I'm wrong, please comment me and and, and correct me. Um. I think you know, Dyer can, can do very well in that defense. He is fine because he's a guy who knows how to do a tackle and can get physical. Alderweireld, 100%, I feel that guy should have been in the PFA team of the year because Tottenham, based beyond their attack, defensively, they have been absolutely amazing. For an attacking team, for their defense to be this good, especially for Alderweireld and Vertonghen, it's been amazing. Loris, you already know what he gives you as a keeper. So we look on the left and right wing backs. Huge, massive miss is um, left the left wing wing back. Davis, bless his soul, he's not a left wing back and he won't give you the kind of running, the kind of attacking, the kind of crossing and offensive prowess that Danny Rose gives you. So I think for Davis, the, the key thing really is to defend. Go up when you need it to, but I think I would just say to him, I play the simple pass, keep the, the ball moving. If you see Dembele or Eriksen coming out wide here, just give them that ball. Give them that easy ball. Do not complicate things. Um... For Walker, we already know what other guy gives you. He will definitely be the one who is required to stretch the play. Get up and down. Get up and down and really try. And remember, it's a, it's a back three. It's a, it's a back three. And especially if you've got Zuma, who is new to back back three for Chelsea, I'll say to for Walker, get, get at him. Use your speed and put in a good cross. Because I think the one thing that is missing in Walker's game, like the one deficiency is is consistent quality crossing if you can just get his crossing to be cons of, of consistent quality i think he can really be take his his right wing wing back um play to the next level the midfield now i just think you know, this is a very strong midfield for Tottenham because wanyama again one of the most underrated um players in, in the premier league because this, this guy's defending is superb his central midfield work is quality top notch but he keeps the ball moving. He knows how to make a pass. He knows how to carry the ball. He's got good control of the ball. And he did, I would say it's almost like a Patrick Vieira. These are always critical guys in the midfield. Because what Wanyama does is that he allows them barely to move forward with, 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 with the ball. As you see, when Yamu, who will occupy the, this spot, Dembele can actually sometimes move forward. Because again, for Tottenham, the key thing is attack these guys. You know how to attack those guys. And you know you're younger, you're speedier, and you're, and you're quicker. And we now have the front three in. So obviously, I like Son. What Hong Min Son has done for the past few games has been exceptional. And 100% I've got to keep him in mind. Because I was thinking that, okay, how do you get him into this team? I can't, you can't get him into this team because this right now, this is this is a very good line line up here who which can give Chelsea a lot of issues. Um, but obviously, with Ericsson, Ali, and Ankin, I mean, that's for me. That is hell on earth for Chelsea. And if these guys can click, especially Ericsson and, and, and Ali, they can move around. Even not be afraid to even switch it up. Give Kane so support. Because the thing about Kane is that you know, he is, the, he is the, the finisher, the predator. who's doing far better than, than Costa. But Ericsson and Ali can... Well, more Ali is really the guy who I would say for Ali, make runs in, into, into, into the box running in, into the box, trying to get in behind um, Luis and um, Azaz Bilocueta because you're quicker than them, you're faster than them, you're far more nimble than them. So for Ali, he is the real runner. Eriksen is the play playmaker. He's the guy, I'll say, pull back, put in a, a cross from, 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 from deep. Pull back, see what Walker is doing up in there. Even if Dembele sees an opportunity that can run, run, run into the box, Eriksen can give him that ball. But what I said in my previous that, if Ericsson isn't working, if Ericsson isn't working, or let's say Tottenham are a goal down, I wouldn't. I would say that you know I would. I'd bring in a son. 
And this is a sub that I would do. I would bring in a son for an Ericsson because I think Ali and Kane can't be, be sold unless they're playing horrible. I would, put, I would bring in a son and I'd do something like this. You know, because I think Son has been playing extremely well, and I think for Ali that gives him two options of of, of people he can he, he can pass to, as well as Dembele as well, who likes to really um, come forward with, with with the ball. Because Son is more of an attacker than an Eriksen. Because what you have essentially are three attackers. Eriksen is a playmaker, main midfielder, but these guys are all guys who can all get squad goals and all attack and all cause issues for a Chelsea back three who were very badly exposed um, at Old Trafford against Man United. But I just think, you know, for Tottenham, the one thing I just think they have to really watch and low, 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 look out for is really trying to consolidate the midfield because this back three with die in there and potentially for Davis could be exploited. And what would be very important that I would say for Wanyama especially is to help out Davis because what I think Conte may do is put hazard on Davis and get Hazard to try and really give Davis hell. So I think it's very important for Wanyama. Obviously for Vertonghen, when he can to come and help out Davis, puts in a, a double team, gets physical with Hazard, do not allow Hazard to turn, because that's what, what United did so well, was not allowing Hazard any space, which is why Wanyama, I think, is the most important player for Tottenham. Because if Wanyama can do what Ander Herrera did, i.e., you know, inter intercept, stop any balls coming through, really restrict the amounts of um, service that Costa can get, but most especially a hazard, then I think that that is where Tottenham can get some, some, some joy. But I think definitely if Tottenham are a golden or they're not really creating many chances, I would really go with this sub and Ericsson for, for his son because that would give Chelsea some serious crazy issues. All right, guys, let's roll.